Well, now let's talk about mayflies or Canadian soldiers, whatever you want to call them. They're pretty much everywhere. If you haven't seen them on your own house, odds are your friends are posting pictures of their encounters on Facebook. Like this one, Sue Gregory posted on our WEWS page. Oh my goodness, look at this. They are covering her front door. Christy has a similar situation on her siding in Lorraine, but I think the best one is from Celeste in Avon Lake. She has mayfly stacks in her driveway. So why are they here? And why are there so many? We sent Dave Arnold swatting through Rocky River to search for answers. Now this has the makings of a scary bee movie. And the bee is as in bugs. The scientific name for these? Hexagenia. Hexagenia limbata. The forbidden dance of the giant mayfly has arrived en masse. Canadian soldiers, to many of you, they're back. Today was a little surprise. They're just about everywhere, I think. They, they like living in, in rivers and in lakes. Anywhere where there's, there's uh, clean water, they'll, they'll live. Case Western Reserve Assistant Professor Dr. Jessica Fox says these little guys are determined to live for one reason. They respond to the lake warming up. So when the lake hits about 70 degrees, that's when they start to come out. And uh, it's, it's actually beneficial for them to all have them emerge at the same time because then they can all come out and, and find partners and mate, which is the only thing that they do when they're adults. That's right. They aren't even equipped to eat. They live for about one day, mate, females head to the water to lay their eggs, the rest die in a crunchy mess. They just are a pest to everyone and just they cling to you and get all over the place and it's just a pain. The mayflies seem to come down with the rain last night. Today after the rain is the first time I've ever seen them and they were just on the doors and the windows and everywhere and they just don't care about anything. I was out 11 o'clock and never saw never saw one and woke up this morning and the walls every all the way up Detroit Avenue and along old depot street here just just millions of them, not thousands, millions of them. They may disregard every sign and warning in their 24-hour quest. It's actually a really good thing that the mayflies are coming back. It's a sign that the, that the lake is healthy and, and the, the mayflies are an important food source for fish. So um, if the mayflies come back, the fish will come back and the, and the lake is so, slowly starting to recover. Live on 5 in Rocky River, I'm Dave Arnold. Well, mayflies usually hatch right around now in June every year, but they can be around your home until September. What? Mm. Don't confuse these with midges, right, Mark? Right. They are smaller insects hatching from Lake Erie and rivers a bit earlier in the spring, but as we all know, those can also stick around <laughs> <laughs> right up until postseason baseball Ooh. to annoy Yankee pitchers. Yes, <laughs> they're actually we love them for that. Two hatchings of the midges, one in May, or early June, and then one again late. No, when the Indians are in the playoffs. See? But don't call them Canadian soldiers. No, see, just to me, mayflies. when I was growing up, the Canadian soldier was that big old bug that looks like a big giant mosquito. Except it doesn't sting you. Oh, those are Canadian okay. soldiers. Those right. big mosquito like okay. looking things. Mm -hmm. Mayflies <laughs> have the little double tail and the angel wings, and yes. then muffle heads or midges are those small, small little buggy and things. And plentiful. That, that get in your nose when you breathe. Mm -hmm. Mayflies live one heck of a life, by the way. Do yeah. they now? Well, two days, one, and yeah, two exciting days. That's all exciting you need. Days. Boom. There it is. Here we go.